Good afternoon. Welcome to the press conference for Karolina Pliskova. Please raise, use the raise hand function to, if you would like to ask a question and also state your organisation when asking your question. We will take the first question from Ben Rothenberg. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. What are the what we you can talk through your emotions as after you won match point, what it means to you to be back in 2A, another Grand Slam final after almost five years? Yeah, I think still I'm half like I can't believe it because somehow like, you know, coming into this tournament, just the dream was to make the second week, of course, because I was not in the second week for a while. And um, never I thought about like maybe going into the final. I know like Sasha was super confident in me and he said, I told you you're going to make the final like after the match, he said, but you know, like so many amazing players in the draw. Also like her, I never beat her actually. I knew it's going to be like super close because we both serving big. So I knew that there's going to be just like many small chances, which um, but especially after losing the first set, um, you know, I thought it was it's going to be super tough to, to win this match. Then to win two sets in a row uh, with the way how she was serving today. I think she was serving incredible. All my chances, she just put like amazing serves in. So, um, yeah, like super proud about the way how I handled um, the situation out there, the second and third set, and and that I served out the match. Tony Banks. Hi, Carolina. Congratulations Hi, on uh, on your win. Um, what do you think has has changed your form in this fortnight? You know, you you had some difficult times earlier on in the year. What's changed for you in terms of your form and maybe confidence? What's changed? No, I mean, of course, you need to win a couple of matches to feel, you know, this way and to, to play the best tennis. Um, it's tough to really play it in the first round, especially after you lose a couple of times in the first round and not really playing that amazing, let's say. But I think I was playing also like earlier this year, just like some super tough players. They always went deep in the tournament. So I think I was close to like playing a good level, but somehow I was not able to really like win all those matches but um it's not that i would be playing horrible and sometimes it's just you're just missing like a little bit and you're not doing anything wrong so i think sometimes just to hang in there is super important which i did i didn't really change anything so it's not about that we would do like so much of different things than i did maybe before paris you know so i think you need luck you know and um yeah super happy about that it worked out because we're like trying for a while just like to play good and in the practices I was playing well and then not really in the in the tournament so super happy about that. Andy Dillon. Hi Carolina. Hi. Um, I just wonder if you could just give us please your initial thoughts on the, the task ahead now. I know you're in the final but you want to win it but you have to play the world number one in Ashley Barty. Just what are her strengths, what are her weaknesses, what sort of game you expect please? So far, my second final and second time I'm playing against a player number, number one. Um, but uh, no, I think it can be any better than that. I mean, you want to play the best player in the final. Of course, I don't want anybody else than her there. And uh, I mean, we had some good matches. Of course, I lost a couple of times, but I think she has just, you know, extremely difficult game to play. Um, it's going to be difficult on grass because of her slides and just her game overall. But um, <clears throat> You know, it's a final. Anything can happen. Also for her, I mean, I know she has a grand slam, but also for her, it's a first Wimbledon final. So, I think we both have good chances, and um, you know, it's going to be hopefully a good match uh, to watch as well, because with her, it's always interesting. And then we're going to see what's going to happen. Courtney. Hi, Carolina. Congratulations Hi, on the final. Um, just on today's match, can you just talk tactically a little bit about how you approached the match against Arena? You said she served unbelievable today, and, and she did. So um, how did you feel like you were going to absorb and combat her power? And then also <clears throat> mentally, after double faulting the, the first set away, uh, how did you kind of stop? A lot of players would have lost that set six love, honestly, in that second set. <laughs> 
I want it also <laughs> for a minute. Uh, no, I was super, like, super pissed about that because I thought I had so many chances in the first set. And it's not that I would do, like, really something wrong, but I just thought, like, especially the last game, I could do much better. Not only the double fault, really, that was, like... But I had two easy shots early in that game. And just, like, I think I was too much, like, getting frustrated about that I didn't make the chances which I had on her serve because I had, like, maybe, I don't know, three, four seven seven break points or maybe even more more so um <clears throat> so i was like a bit and then i was actually holding myself quite easy so i was like okay like and then just like a couple mistakes you know sometimes it's like that but um i thought i could definitely win that set because anytime i was in the rally i was feeling quite confident that the point's gonna be mine so it was only about the surf but I mean, it's tough to really like prepare something because there is not much of time to think, you know, what to do and how to play, where to play, what to cover, because I think also she's a really good player. She can play, she can serve any kind of corner, you know, so uh, there was not much like preparation. So it was more about like just to be quick, ready, uh, low, of course, and to put as many balls back as I can. And of course, to hold the serve and to be patient, which is tough, especially for me. But, um, yeah, worked out in the end. <coughs> Craig Gabriel. You know, you're just talking about playing Ash, but the past seven matches that the two of you all have played, are they going to have any bearing when <coughs> you go into the final? I mean, and it's been a long time since the two of you all played one another on grass, so I'm figuring that's not going to be a of relevance, but what about the other um, slightly more recent matches that you'd have played? Will, will they have a bearing? I mean, for sure, at least I have a feeling about, you know, about the game overall with her, uh, which is important. And I mean, I don't really look if I lost or if I won because I know I beat her. I know I lost a couple of times, but every time it was kind of close match, uh, a good match. Actually, I never played a horrible match against her. Of course, she makes you feel a bit like ugly with the game which she's playing. But um, you know, also I have like I had a lot of chances last match we played. I think I had a match point that I was serving for a match. So um, you know, I I know there's gonna be many chances for me as well. But she's a good, really good player. She she has a grand slam. So of course she wants to win another one. And I'm not expecting anything easy. But um, definitely there's gonna be chances. Uday. Hi, Carolina. Hi. Uday Binwale here. Congrats for fantastic win in semi-finals. Thank you. You entered into semi-finals here without dropping a single set. Great going indeed. Now, how do you feel about it as far as confidence level is concerned? And what is your game plan for the finals? Thank you. <laughs> um, no, I mean, of course, I felt like I was playing good tennis from the beginning uh, of the tournament. Of course, it was maybe different players than I played today. Um, she's number two seeded, so it was very difficult. But, you know, you expect to play the best level later in the tournament, <clears throat> which I actually did. And um, and first set I lost, but I think I was super close to also win the first set. But, you know, I'm, I'm not really like taking that seriously the results. It's more about my feeling, how I play and how is my game, which I thought was really good all those two weeks so far. So hopefully I can hold that level for one more week. I'm very sorry.